Yes. So this song. James. Oh. James. James. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I listened to Hope. So I got a vision of Rafa. And how? Tell me how how that beat came about. Okay. <laughs> so I think that beat is so old. <laughs> One of the oldest beats I have in mind. Hmm. Older. And this should be like, if I'm not exaggerating, like eight or nine years ago. You produced that beat eight Long nine years ago. Time. And we were working on Obrafo's Kasebo album. That time, there was Guru, Sakode, D Crime, Yapuno. You know the Tema boys? Yes. They were popping then. And Opanka. Sa Opanka. Sakode had one video pair, and that was with Nikin of Accra. Mm. And then the guys were just rapping. And a friend played that video to me. That time, Obrafo didn't know who Sak was. Mm. So while we were doing the Kasebo album, I was telling our brother that, listen, we need to bring in the new young guys onto this album, oh, especially okay. as our brother also then had been out of the system for a long time and was now coming back. In fact, that was what brought about the Kasebo subject. Mm. So I called, uh, what's his name? Uh, Dr. Duncan. That time, Sack was with Dr. Duncan. And then they had gone to play a show in Winneba. They were coming. They were using uh, Dr. Duncan's... Uh, was a small car, so I'm Toyota Kabila, like that. <laughs> and then these guys came, they were at Dan Summer Runabout. They, I think, they didn't even know where we were. So, me and Obrafo, Obrafo then had this Morano. We're going around, the around the runs, runabout. No, no, in Sack. Where the Buffalo Station is? Good. No, no, in Sack was just at the ADB there. Hmm. But then, we, people didn't know Sack by then, so we were sitting there, we were waiting for him. We were going around searching for him. So, we found him, and then we picked him up. Then we came to the studio. That same day, they made history. Sack recorded in Hip Life. He has a song I produced in Hip, in Hip, Life, Hip Life. Yes. yes. That same day, with hey, Yeah. In Hip Life. In Hip Life. And then that same day, he did a song with Life. Uh, no, we, that was even before. I tell you the story about that. That guy has become a pastor now. The Tema Boy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Siki. Yeah, Siki. Siki. And then they did uh, Yeah Boale. Tema Boy. Tema Boy. Tema Boy. That same day, they did two songs. <laughs> and all of them became heads, including the collaboration they did with in your studio. In my studio, one day. Wow. So when I was leaving, then he said, "Oh Jay, tell me beat be here." So I went to my folder and then I found hope. The whole beat. And then I loaded it. He was nodding. He said, "I was waiting for him to start recording." And this was eight nine years ago. Eight nine years ago. Then I was like, "Boss, beat wait there." In seven percent mechanical, me nyan do sa level me into the fabit man. Can you imagine? So I could have took that beat like six years. Me, I thought I didn't change studios, lot my drive. The data was missing. I had forgotten it. about that beat. Six years later, I was there now. And you know how he behaved? At dawn, around three day, that, that guy don't sleep. And he hit me up. Boss, you, you remember this beat? I said, I didn't need Yeah, do you think I say? Let me be honest. I've lost the data. I've lost the PC. Everything is gone. We said, ah, this is big hit. So what we go do? I say, okay. The beat now it be demo, but then I mix those days when I do a beat, I pre-mix it. So it was sounding very cool. So let me send it to Ubet for Ubet to just master it. And then Ubet remastered without. But you took it from Sack. It was an MP3 that he recorded. Nah, we didn't mix. Because the data was missing. So how come Sack had that data? How? How? So now I, I asked him that how come you took six years? He said, also, let me be honest. In some man and person me can now. Feeling in by but no idea no be thing. Now me person me forcing you. So I wanted that feeling to come. I'm a recording in natural. So when people listen, they can connect to it, and it made sense. Now, if you remember that time, if Sakode had dropped hope that time, mm, wouldn't have made sense. Really, it wouldn't have made sense. Now we had seen an artist from stage one mm, grow the transition. The transition. So <laughs> if now he's saying God is a source of his success and pivot mm. it makes sense to those who have followed him basically mm. so that song Sakura, he has that habit a lot of songs i've done with him oh, but, yeah, later on, me, me, if you can, who are sending uh, uh, vocals and say oh, recently on it stone boy i'm on the uh, strength of a woman strength of a woman <laughs> the two of them all didn't come to studio mm. sack recorded in his house send me the vocals uh, stone also recorded send me the vocals and then I bounced it and that was it. Hmm. <laughs> that was it. So now the technology too is really helping. I mean, we can actually do a full album without even we seeing each other. 
But there's one person I've always wanted to meet you. Okay. I've not had an interview with you before. Ah. I've always wanted to ask you this question. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope you know what I'm thinking. No, 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 no. no. Okay, so, so she... this, when it comes to your instruments or your production, yeah. the beat those days, and yeah. even today, the beat itself, it's music. When I say music, yes, you I know. Regard the lyrics. Yes, it's a song. It's on a song tone. on its own. Yeah. That's how? What, how? I mean, what's, what's the inspiration? If you if you ask Sakode and Abrafo, they always tell you that the reason they work with me is because I give them a song. I don't give them a beat. Absolutely. So because first I started as an artist. Mm. I sing in church, play instrument in church. So before I play a beat, I already hear melody. Or I, I envisage a song that I wish I would have done. So, <laughs> like, let me tell you, all the songs, Samini, there has never been a song from Samini that I produced, Kaki, everybody. In fact, there has never been any song you ever heard. The artist walks to my studio and come and sing for me. Or it's already done. Everybody, I give you a subject. Saku, we all always so Nana into where then I'll hear every tussle. Or Rafa will always ask you, and then I'll say, I can't be to a song. Samini there is like <laughs> constant. You see? So the inspiration is because I think I am more musical. Like mm, you're musically we, inclined. <laughs> yes, we we have a beat maker and we have a producer. I am a producer, not a beat maker. A beat maker is somebody who can put sounds together and then an artist and his producer can finish it up. But a producer is somebody who can start from scratch you know back in those days when we were learning engineering artists don't artists will compose a song and then come to you in the studio come and sing for you and then you create what he is singing now because of technology and then fast food style of producing producer will play a beat send it to the artist and then the artist will now put together vibes on it that is not full-time production because production will mean you and the artist are planning. We want to do this. This is how we want the instrumental to go. This it involves 360, basically. So I think that's where my strength is. Hence, when you hear a beat from me, when you mute the artist's vocal, mm. the beat is already singing on the But you see the DJs always using the They always loop that yeah. part, yes. So what happens also is that when I play the beat, I always play a melody on it. Then I'll tell the artist, Take that melody and put fix words to it. So when you do that now, let me make you melody name free. So I cook the melody for you. I help you. So what is pam 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 so I had called Samini to come and write that particular song for Kaki. Mm. And he came. But you see, I know Samini so well that I am able to read his mood. When he came to the studio, he was a bit moody and very... Yeah, he's a type who will always be cracking jokes for us to be laughing. But this time, so I didn't know what was going on. So he had this guy. Boy, nice. He said, what Sandyman. Sandyman was Samini's uh, bodyguard that oh. time. Yes, and uh, they came. I um sticker, 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 fire, fire stick, fire, fire stick. stick, yes, fire stick. Fire fire stick. You yes. What's your advice for the young producers and beat makers so that they can also produce timeless yes, yes records? Yes. They 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 are living in the the best time mm -hmm. to ever be a producer, in the sense that some of us to be a producer back then. Like the equipment, you don't have money, you can't afford it. So you would have to find yourself working for studio owners. But today, with just their laptop, even that phone you're having, they have software that they can play a bit on and send to an artist. Which means that they have no excuse not to be bigger than we. Absolutely. Not to go more than we have. They have no excuse not to... The sky is their, virtually their limit, you understand? But so the resources are there. The, the resources are there. In fact, we, we had to underline top producers. Now they can just go on YouTube. Anything they want to do, they can do it. Mm. One thing I want them to desist from is um, don't try and produce your beat, record, 
mix, master everything yes. yourself. Exactly. You can't do all. You can, but professionally, there are people who are just trained to master, people who are just trained to mix. If you really want to go high, when you finish the beat, talk to your artist and listen, I want to give it to this person to mix because I feel he would do better justice to it than you. And don't feel like Obia Mexo on your manas who are master internet just say he's taking the credit or the glory away from me. Dr. Dre don't even master any of his songs. Name all these top people, they don't. So it's a normal thing. Then lastly, um, the music won't always be there. It will always be there, but you won't always be at the top of your game. So always have a backup plan. Today you have a hit song, everybody's calling your name, you might be thinking that it will be like that forever. <laughs> Trust me, even the artist won't be like that forever. So make good use of when the spotlight is on you. If you have to invest, if you have to branch into other business in addition to the music, because times change and they change very fast. Yeah. Thank you and congratulations. Ah, oh, bless you, you. You put me on the Yes, <laughs> have a good talk. Thank you. But thank you so much. You are welcome.